we're back at the witch's party and this time the seventh witch the witch has shown up how i don't know echidna did lie to us and how she has to substitute other souls out and she can't exist at the same time as other witches but she's been doing a lot of lying not really maybe lying but telling partial half truth here and there Right, Echidna is a Witch of Greed, and we've seen finally the mask off moment where she offers us this contract, which may seem a little bit too good to be true, because it is. Because at this rate, if we, if we accepted it, she would have just explored every possible route of Suguru's suffering for her content before getting to the optimal route. So I think it was a good thing that Minerva saved us and the rest of the witches then came and said, nah, nah, don't listen to her. Now, very end, Satala shows up. We can see her like golden flowers with black attire and silver hair which actually does match Natsuki Subaru's jumpsuit. I don't know if that's supposed to be intentional but what's she gonna say? Let's begin today's reaction. Past the barriers. <laughs> barriers. Look at that aura bro. Okay. She's speaking full sentences. Oh god. We're traumatized by her. But how could you have loved us for so, so long when we're 17 years old? Because Subaru is a reincarnation or someone that resembles her past lover that died 400 years ago due to some unfairness of the world and therefore Satala destroyed half the world? I don't know. For so, so long. What do you mean? Everyone's insane. <laughs> Damn, Minerva. Oh. Never heard Minerva actually talk without being angry and crying all the time, but... Are we not the ones suffering the most? But I guess last trial did show us the potential continuation of those timelines and them suffering. And it's easy for us to make these excuses and be like, oh, woe is me. Everything I do, it, I'm the one that suffers most. But maybe Minerva's right. Hmm. I mean... <laughs> I don't you've been acting really I mean I felt like you were one the entire time <laughs> like, like, all, all, like up until the point until she fucking confronted I feel like it, you are the tragic hero but are you being gaslit? what? deciding that you're the only one that needs to suffer is cowardly saying let's share the burden Let's share the suffering. You don't have to do it alone. Don't try to pretend to be a tragic hero. We can do it together. Ungrateful. Ungrateful to Satala. Honestly, we've been so... From our perspective, she's someone that should be so scared and feared of, right? And she feels like this epitome of evil. But remember, when we saw her face and she was crying, I felt this sense of sorrow even though she's supposed to be this evil being i'm like man did we fuck up i don't know huh. what if even though satala is the one that did it, it gave him the at least it seems like we're using the authority of MB, right? And I think that we're still using a proxy. I don't know if we have a witch factor in us, but since those memories are gone, I wonder if this is all Subaru's plan. Wouldn't it be so tragic, right? Wouldn't it be so fucking tragic if we were the one that proposed this plan and forgot about it? And now Satala is getting hate from the guy that made the plan, right? In that perspective, it would be very sad. <laughs> Don't be hurt. He's like, positive? Love me? Love you? Love yourself. This is not about me. You're, you're forcing me to love you. Or you're saying you love me. I feel like this has to go with Natsuki's character himself, right? 
about being able to love yourself. You don't have to suffer alone. Stop trying to be a fucking tragic hero. Enlighten yourself. Get some help from other people. Do it together. Yes. Love yourself. Oh god, it's a scary soundtrack. Oh, the soundtrack, bro. Mm -hmm. Also, the legend has it that, you know, the, the Witch of Envy is unable to speak the human language. That's all bullshit now. Well, it was legend has it, right? I was just like, just trying to remember that one line from when Biko told us in Arc 2. And I, I did notice that Satala was only capable of saying certain phrases, but now I think that she's, she's speaking. No, that's wrong. That's you being too harsh on yourself again. Super is way too hard on himself and it's about loving yourself. Plenty of people were upset and crying because you are dead. They care about you. The checkpoint. Yo, can we talk about the REM shit though? Yo, Satala, can you revert the checkpoints, please? How does the checkpoint work? Because that did happen. Because, well, Echidna said, the goal of Return by Death isn't to make sure everyone around you survives. It's that you survive and sacrifices can be made and it's not part of a plan. Now, can we talk to her about that part? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. No longer the seducer of witches, and now we're just getting into a fetal position and gonna start crying in front of them. And like, I understand why he would break down, right? Losing Rem like that, now you're faced with a person that might have even caused that shit, but. <laughs> Segment? <laughs> yeah, no one is here to coddle us. Nope, we're just gonna get the harsh truth today. Minerva's gonna say, what are you, fucking tragic hero, pussy ass bitch? Segment's like, <laughs> look at this kid crying. Even T1 on Daphne and your children, they ain't crying. <laughs> well, he is lonely, isn't he? And he is pretty much a child. He's 17. <laughs> Do we point to Satala? <laughs> then when Tifon and Satala fight, that was interesting. Everyone just took it so seriously when Tifon stepped up and who made you cry. The whims of this child is pretty terrifying. <laughs> Tifon ignored. <laughs> How do we give her- Again, it's the lost memories, right? What the fuck do we know? What happened, Gabe? You spent that much time together? Huh? Oh, he bit his tongue? I think he bit his tongue. Heal it, heal it. Oh, t Damn, everyone's power right now just being shown. Segment, what was that? Some kind of gravity power? She just like fell to the ground. I don't know. t -phone, we already know about that, right? People can shatter based on like whether or not you perceive yourself as a sinner or what I deem you to be a sinner or some shit. But whose side should we take? t -phone says Baru already made his mind, so we should respect that. Minerva's like, nah, man. He's just self-harming. And Sekhmet, what do you think? <laughs> With the boy's side. But... <laughs> ben sitting? Ha. Hu. Ha. I feel bad again. Dude, this is the second time we killed ourselves in front of Satala. And she gets so sad. And like... We don't know why, but it just instinctively it feels bad, right? Because like, this is the being that we're supposed to be afraid of, maybe due to the witch propaganda. But every time this shit happens, I'm like, 
I feel so bad for her. Oh, important lines. Whoa, whoa. Why haven't you realized? Then you should be included among the ones you wish to save. Because he is treating himself as the main sacrifice. Without his suffering, no one else can be saved. He needs to be the tragic hero. But he can save himself. Can he? Can someone else save him? Can Satala save us? She has been saving us through the loops, I guess, in a twisted way. Rem, Rem, Rem. Hell. And their parents. Kenichi. Mother. Julius. <sighs> Wilhelm. Biko. Rem. Hero. Amelia? <laughs> Alright, he regained his desire to live after all those different voices and Rem always being the one for us and Minerva Herdbutt, I guess that can heal our tongue. <laughs> Now what? We need to talk to Satala about loving ourselves and about how to save ourselves too. Yes? Plenty of people love you. <laughs> what? What can I do except die and repeat everything? Just don't make any mistakes and just win? But that's unreasonable. What? What? what is there a deeper lesson here? The act of regression is him dying and repeating, but maybe there's something beyond just doing it ourselves. I, I, I don't know at the moment. Asking for help is something that we've done plenty of times, but the nature of return by death is that he dies. He suffers. Other people suffer too together. And then we move forward. The light is piercing through. Yeah? I think this has to go back to like his remember when he was laughing at himself because he could never even realize that Alto could consider him a friend so this is like that theme coming back right because he can't even comprehend other people liking him because he has such a negative perspective of himself like the perception of him is so trash that he can't even comprehend Alto being a friend let alone other people like, right? Why did you just say that here? Can I really believe that people li I like can also like me? I think they do. Plenty. Natala? How? Okay. The Amelia voice acting, bro. <laughs> Sekmet and Daphne? Oh, Daphne is on our side right now. Okay. Right? Putting down T-Phone? I'm not sure. That's right. We gotta kill the great rabbit and flex on her. That's right, Rem. Remember, she turned into Rem, right? To kind of like help Subaru's soul be healed in that moment. Oh wait. This is not last episode stuff, but are you talking about right now? This is last episode stuff, right? Because like the voices, I'm because like the Rem that reached beyond the darkness and said the last line and then Subaru had a different perspective. Yeah, that was there. Okay, okay. Faceless Bride was today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not last episode. It was, she did it just now. Taken and not return. We need to return the favor. Take the love and return the love. Who took it is not returning it. Subaru is not returning it. Satla took it. I'm not sure. 
ミネルバは彼を癒し、延命に協力し、ために剣能を。Everyone helped out, pretty much. 全員が全員、おのおのの指揮スバルを助けようとするわけだ。My man. 面白い。He's so good with the witches, man. 本当に何なんだよ。They've all just been pro Natsuki Subaru from the beginning, too. Like the first time we met Daphne and Tifon, they already had pet names for us because they've been probably seeing like the version of Subaru through Echidna. I'm not sure. But there was also like the theme of like Pleiades, you know, the uniter of him just uniting everything. I don't know if it's regarding the witch factors, the archbishops, the witches, right? But from the beginning, like, do you think Natsuki Subaru has shown anything? Well, arc one, like, I mean, we've seen the entire season and a bit. We've seen highs and we've seen lows, but has the witches seen all of that? They just have this bias to help him? They have their own principles and philosophies. Yes. Mm. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, you can be assured that you will arrive at a future in which you save those you want to say. Sure, sure, sure. But you're going to make us do like 10 million different loops first before we get there. You're not going to do this immediately. No contract with you. We're going to be a go. No. <laughs> no. 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 Very selfish. Or selfless. Yeah. There it is. Denied. Satala is happy. My own answers. Mm -hmm. That's right. Simply dying and returning and repeating isn't the only thing that you do. There must be different ways to repay the favor. And in some way other than death, I don't know if we have the answer just yet, but just simply surviving and just being better skill issue, I guess. I don't know. Mm. Very greedy. There it is, it's greedy, right? Okay. So we're choosing to see like the good sides of Echidna and like potentially what that contract would have meant for us, right? We're gonna just like forget all the other experimental bullshit she might have done, but let's see the good sides of her. Oh, damn, she's just giving us tips. Out of nowhere, she's just helping out. Look at that. Okay, what was the important tip here? We got poor stupid. <laughs> she didn't have to say stupid. I feel like that's a little bit racially motivated. That poor stupid Garfield fears the outside world. Why? What happened? The scar on his head. Who gave him the scar? I thought that it might relate to Frederica. Maybe Frederica was in danger from some threat and Garfield protected her when they were young and is now traumatized by the outside world or something. But if we solve this, to free him from his current circumstances, you'd have to break that spell. Okay, it's a little secret. Garfield's scared. Just give him a little service, yeah? Alright, alright. How much of that is true, though? Because I can remember what we've learned. Past couple episodes, whenever we're at the tea parties, and the kid that was acting all girly and dainty and trying to be affectionate, it was an act. Last episode, we saw that she is a cold, brutal witch, and she can't feel that way. She's just simply acting that way. So this line, I don't know. I feel like if, it, it, it'd be so inconsistent for her... To sell, tell us this shit in this fold, even though everything else beyond was an act. Or maybe, even if it was an act, there is some partial truth of how much affection she has for him. Every witch seems to have some sort of affection for him. His affinity towards witches and spirits is fucking crazy. Why, though? What do they see in him? Maybe this relates to the past Subaru that 
he doesn't remember the reincarnation, the re the pre reincarnation super. Role? I don't know. I feel like this is so much time to <laughs> handsome. Subaru is not objectively handsome. He is like, he's not bad looking, but he's not a Kirito, you know? I, I don't think he is, like, like if you've seen other Isekai, Ikemen, like Julius, Reinhardt, these dudes are handsome, you know? But I don't know, he's just good with witches, and I don't think it's just his looks or his personality. There might be something that stretches beyond what we know right now. <laughs> Jesus, bro. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Carmilla Hype. And you, Satala. Yeah, I do not get you. We can, can we just have a conversation here? Like, it, it, just ask. I don't get you. You say that I've done so much for you. What is it? I don't have the memories. Can you tell me? Maybe she say, I'm bound by a pact. I have something, I have a vow that I've made, I can't fucking tell you. It's, it's, usually it's some kind of bullshit like that in ReZero, right? So it's like, what is it? Can we get some secrets out of you right now? What did I do for you? What have I done for you? What, what the hell am I? I'm 17, but you're fucking ancient, like what? And now you to save yourself too. The lesson of like love yourself. Stop abusing return by death. Not that we were necessarily abusing it, but all those suffering and shit, like you can save yourself too. You don't need to be the only one that needs to suffer. So don't rely on it. Stop trying to think of this loop as it's already over and I can just die and over, right? Just like try to think about how to save the run, how to save yourself too. Okay. Oh, it touch hands. What the? No! That's right. People do care about you. I'll save you. Say the same thing with wiping the tears away. Save me, save you. Come what? You must come. What? And it's just the spitting image of Amelia, but I still don't really think she's Amelia. I don't know. But it's, it's weird, the resemblance we've already known, right? We've, we've always known that Amelia and Satala are pretty much like lookalikes, but... Kill me. Someday... You must come... To kill me. So, maybe Satala is out of control? And, and like, we've, we've seen her just consume the fucking world. Not in the past, but the last couple loops. And Satala... ...wants to die by Subaru's hand. Because that is closure for her, but beyond, I don't know. Is she, like, controlled by something? Like, this current Satala that's, like, reasonable talking to us and is helping us? Is not the same as the current Satala outside that's sealed away somehow that's all super evil and we need to end her for her own good style? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't believe that fucking seal too, by the way. That seal is bullshit. How the hell is she here? Straight up. How the hell is she here, bro? Because, like, we've talked multiple times about how her flesh is not destroyed. The seal has been made. That means that she does have a body. She doesn't need Amelia's body. But Betrigu's ordeal was getting a proper vessel for Satala, implying that maybe her flesh that wasn't broken is incompatible. Maybe it's beyond, maybe it's damaged too much, and that soul that was sealed away cannot possess. But in this area, it's like a dreamland, right, of souls. So maybe the soul has left the seal again and broken through barriers somehow and interrupted in here, right? What a, that seal thing is the weirdest shit. The, the weirdest shit is that seal. That seal is supposed to be in place. But she just comes out whenever the fuck she wants to. So it's like, is it a weakened seal? Therefore, it's a partial release? I don't know, man. This is so weird. Why do we need to kill you, though? I'll save you. There's the line again, right? The sounds that make you want to cry. I don't know. It's just like, 
He said this line too after, you know, wiping her tears away before. But that seal is so weird. Her desire to be killed by Subaru's hand is like the end game. I need to really think about this more and more. But I don't know, man. Maybe we can have the pie and eat it too. We can save her at the end so we don't have to kill her. Good thing you said. And that's half the fucking episode. <laughs> and we're back. Oh. Patrash. Best girl, Patrash. Best girl, Oto. Patrash got injured. He was kind of scratched up. Because he loves you. She loves you. Like, these are two people right here that really like you, man. And Subaru's lack of self confidence and, like, not letting himself be liked or be saved by other people, right? It's, it's like. He thinks that he's the biggest sinner of all and no one can possibly like him, but these two are fawning over you, man. Ah! Wait. Wait. <laughs> I thought Otto could simply talk in Japanese and other people could understand, but he's really talking in Land Dragon. Ah! 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 <laughs> Do you think Otto just made random noises? Because, like, you, you, you don't just study up on how to speak like a land dragon. Do you think that was just performative? I thought that he can understand other people's wavelength, but I... <laughs> no. Like, I know that he has a soul of the language, but... <laughs> so he... He just makes dragon... That's actually... Land dragon tongue? Okay. Oh. They love you, bro. ね、それが危ないと気づくや否や飛び出したまず助け出して目覚めて笑えの気持ちなんて人でも一流でも同じだと僕は思いますけどねこうして幸せもんですねいやすプリデンスインダーアスペクトおおティアなんだうんなんだ
Oh. Like, I'm not crazy, right? He, he never pronounces like this, or at least not to this extent, when he has no makeup on. This is the one time he has makeup on, and now he's extending his pronunciations. I lost the qualification. That's right. Remember what Roswell taught us last time. You have one thing that you want to protect, that one thing that you love the most. Sacrifice everything else and devote yourself to it. It should be simple for you. Yeah. The lesson, remember. The direct contrast to philosophy. Sato is telling us to care about yourself. Rosal is saying, listen, you don't need any of that. Just focus on the objective and just devote yourself to it. <laughs> is, is he gonna sharpen us today? <laughs> I don't, ever since he's shown how he just did this, I'm scared. Like, even though he's in bed, I'm like, he beat the shit out of us last night. I gotta go take a bathroom break. Be right back. This is gonna get sweaty. I fear that we're gonna get some peak Roswell moments. Let's lock in. Okay. What? The, the makeup literally is the voice acting. He removes it, then he speaks normal again. The resolve. I think that Roswell is gonna teach us about making a resolve. So. That this time Subaru will be good. Damn. Russell's basically like, yep, this run's already cooked. This motherfucker still ain't good enough yet. Don't even have made the starting line of your resolve. We haven't even started it? Trampling. Interesting mindset. Trample over her. Her childish dreams, her childish ideals. She can't even clear this shit. If you really want to do that, you should clear the trial for Amelia, is basically what Roswell's saying, right? Huh. <laughs> Amelia ain't ready. Huh? Huh? He knows. Yo, that line. What the hell? Out of nowhere, there is life. So long as there is life, there's a future. If there's a future, there's hope. And if there's hope, there's possibility. Possibility to save. People can be saved with your regression power, right? Natsuki Subaru? What an insane look. Yeah? The Grimoire. Couple more loops, Roswell. Yeah? Yes. The mansion stuff, you're doing it, right? Yep. The Grimoire told him to do it, right? Yeah! It was me! <laughs> I mean, we've been theorizing this from the beginning, right? And the break time stuff as well of, you know, Elsa even giving a little extra clues. Like, yeah, it was Roswell the entire time. He hired Elsa, and I bet he hired Elsa in Arc 1 as well. And... I believe that he is the one creating, not only creating a time constraint at the mansion, he is also creating a time constraint here for the snow to fall down with this mana and then to fucking attract the great rabbit. Two points, he's doing this shit. <sighs> the mask is off, bro. Mm -hmm. It's all him, bro. The clown music. <laughs> See, I thought that Roswell was hiring Elsa to do that shit 
in order to create a time constraint to solve this shit faster. I guess that may be one other component to it, but it's all about sharpening the resolve. The more hell he faces, the more he can become numb to it, the more he can become like Roswell to abandon everything but for that one single thing. And as long as the ends justifies the means, that's all that matters. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. I thought he was making Subaru try to figure out a way to solution to solve both at the same time as fast as possible. But it's about putting him in this position where he's forced to make one decision to sharpen that resolve to make sacrifices. Perfect. Bro. Roswell, bro. Yeah, he is. He doesn't even deny it. You're seriously indeed insane? Yes, indeed. <laughs> I've been insane for a long time, brother. That's a compliment. Four hundred years ago, but you're Roswell L. Mathers, and your grandmother is like Roswell K. Mathers or something. I know that he's talking about Echidna, but I'm thinking about his own lifespan. Because, fun fact: if you don't know, if you're anime only, Roswell's relatives, the 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 the, the, the ancestors, they're all named Roswell. Is this some Orochimaru shit? Like, we know, you know, Echidna basically has tried the, the immortality experimentation. But she failed. The Ryuzu clones were not good enough. She figured out a different way to do it by compressing the memories and soul and putting it in there. But it was too late. It sounds like maybe he's already succeeded in that. Because how could you have memories from 400 fucking years ago? Right? And every Roswell has the same name Roswell his father great like every ancestor it's just Roswell insert alphabet letter Mathers so is this some Orochimaru shit? Way too edgy and I love it so much and if I was Natsuki Subaru I'm a weak man succumbing to my sins. I would 100% be like Roswell by now. Yeah, I'd probably give in. I'd probably think that this is the only way to do it. But it's something so compelling. He is such a cold being. He's just disregarding human heart. Everything doesn't matter. You need to walk the path of isolation for the one thing that you care about the most. <sighs> Roswell is so peak, man. Huh? What are you doing? Is he apologizing? He is apologizing. But the mad clown will not let you go like this. The insane clown wants you to become just as insane. Apologizing ain't gonna do shit. He might just kill you. Yeah, we did. Please stop it, Roswell. <laughs> we need to press you more. Roswell just cares about just making Subaru just into the ultimate soldier. Yeah? You lost the qualification? I don't care. Fucking figure it out. You need to sharpen your resolve. As in like... Make a pact with Echidna? Make that contract? If she's kicked us out because she's upset from us, man. Yeah, I guess that is- there is ways to do it. If you truly wish it. But we just had the whole fucking half of the episode. Telling Subaru to love yourself. To- there's more options, you don't need to just do this, there's different ways- and Russell's like, nah. Get back in there, soldier. Oh my god. 
故に私の行動は変わらん君を追い詰め覚悟を研ぎ君を完成さ<笑> Russell is actually one of my favorite characters and season 2 is just peak for Roswell content oh my god dude I don't this whole clown scene has been fantastic the scene when Roswell showed his true face for the first time and stabbed Garfield and Ram, that episode, the whole monologue there was amazing too, but this is also just his fucking peak. Sharpen your resolve. You're not even at the starting point. You're not even at the starting line of your resolve. I'm gonna keep pressuring you, keep creating these impossible situations until you figure out how to freaking achieve the one thing that you want by sacrificing everything else. <laughs> That felt personal, bro. <laughs> I know Roswell's a huge echidna simp. In fact, his probably only wish is to slay Volcanica to remove the seal on Echidna in this sanctuary. But, like, damn, bro. <laughs> My bad, bro. No, he doesn't hate you. No. Roswell doesn't hate Subaru. Roswell just disappointed that after all this time, Subaru has not become the ultimate soldier yet. Remember, it is in his best interest to source Subaru to succeed. He has his own twisted perception of love for him. It's just he's willing to make him just fail over and over, to die and sacrifice and go through hell. But he, it's out of this insane clown love at the end of the day. Oh, you're my fucking lottery tickets. Yes. Oh. Ram is that important. I mean, we've known from season one that Ram and Ross will share a special connection, but interesting. Just as the equivalent? What kind of purpose does Ram serve? If Subaru is Roswell's fucking lottery ticket to solve all his problems through return by death, what does Ram possibly have that could rival this? Like what? Is there more secrets that we should be worried about? <laughs> Mamena's terrified. Is the flag? Maybe there's an if route where Subaru does become like Roswell. But goddamn, bro. <sighs> Chills, brother. Actual fucking goosebumps anytime that we show up to Roswell and have a conversation. It gets more in hints with more loops, bro. My favorite part of this might have been this sequence of events of like, what was it? Like, it was all about like, if there is something, right? Well, well how did it all start off with? He got in bed and he said something very interesting. Also, the makeup came off and he started to be more serious. So if it's looking like the makeup is just a clown act. And when the makeup comes off, it's the real Roswell time, right? We need to trample, ignore what Amelia wants. You really want to save her. You got to do everything you can. And look, this is it. There is life. And if there is life, there's a future. Future hope. Hope possibility. And the possibility that a life, people can be saved. But like, holy shit, this entire Roswell scene is so fucking good. I can't believe this dude hasn't just plotted this shit from season one. Arc one. Roswell hired Elsa. Arc 2, Melee. Maybe Roswell is involved in that. Arc 3, intentionally AFK. Probably even sent a fucking nice little letter to Betrigus saying, Here's the mansion. I've already made my shit public. I'm gonna go away now. I would be so ashamed if someone showed up and took Amelia. Everything to create an impossible situation. To sharpen Subaru's resolve. To sacrifice everything but Amelia. To get to that fucking path, man. And... I'll always be human. The Subawal theories, bro. Maybe there's a p potential for Subaru to become like Roswell, but damn, bro. That's so fucking cold. Now what? <laughs> now what do we do?
how the hell did we start this episode off with the therapy session from the witches and we get a resolve back we we we, we like we're happy we know what to do we know just value ourselves save yourself and then roswell shows up just uh-uh uh-uh <laughs> Now what, bro? I don't know. What should we do? Well, it's it. Uh, I don't think it's impossible to save the mansion and the sanctuary at the same time, but I don't have the answers. I feel like there's a greedy option, or we can save both. Now, if we had a contact with a kid, though, maybe it's possible. But I don't think that we have to sacrifice one or the other. I feel like we need to defy Roswell and prove with our own resolve, a different type of resolve, that we can save everything, that we don't have to sacrifice, that we can try, but I don't have the answers. With the time constraint of Mansion and the Great Rabbit and the Snow and Amelia Mindbreak and Garfield and everything, it's just feeling pretty impossible. I don't know. We need to ask for help. Um, maybe a kidness hint about Garfield. But how Garfield's scared of the outside and if he can prevent that. I don't know. Something about Garfield I feel like is key. Oto. Oto. Our knight in shining armor. That's right, Oto is here for our emotional support. Let's go. Oh, you got no clue. Otto is kind of clutching really hard. Ask for help. We should ask for help. We need to, every time, we you know, we try to do this shit by ourselves. It never goes right. I think Otto might be the key. I don't know exactly what he's going to do. But Otto hasn't had a conversation with Roswell just yet, right? When is that gonna ever happen? They've been saying that shit from the beginning. And even in break time with Okto and Nikki, he's like, oh, one day I'll take, talk to Roswell. <laughs> what's, what's Okto gonna do? Talk to Roswell? And then Roswell says, there is life. And Okto's like, huh? With life, there is a future. And a future with hope. And hope possibility. <laughs> and Okto's gonna be like, what the hell are you talking about right now? That's <laughs> You got a plan? Alright, what do you got for us, bro? <laughs> uh, probably deserves that. I don't know. My, my favorite moment was an auto push super off the cart and got fucked up by the whale, but uh huh. One more time, one more time. Thank you, my friends. Doing it yourself. <laughs> there it is, bro. In front of your friends. He's your friend, man. Ask for help. And that is today's episode of ReZero, man. Oh, man. Best girl, Oto. Our knight in shining armor. Would have never thought that Oto would be the person to like collect. It seems like right now, at our wit's end, when there's no one else that can help us. The answer was in front of us. We just never realized it. Oto is here. He's your friend. Stop trying to do everything by yourself. Now, this episode's very interesting. Because, like, we had therapy and then relapse exactly immediately. Like, everything that we learned. Like, what did we learn here? We learned that you shouldn't just be suffering by yourself. This return by death, exactly. You do die and you do suffer and you repeat. But you don't have to rely on it entirely, right? You need to value your life. You're just abusing this shit and thinking that you can just be a tragic hero. No, man. Other people care about you. Why can't you realize that you're, you're supposed to use this to save yourself? The stuff with Satala, very confusing about how we're supposed to kill her. One day, we need to come find her and kill her. But now we say, no, we're going to save you instead. Again, the aesthetic, the resemblances with Amelia, Kidna, it's fucking crazy, right? And then as soon as we're done that, Roswell just sends Subaru to the depth of despair again. Roswell's scenes are so peak. The dialogue, the monologue, it just straight up gives me chills. Whether or not you agree with his principles or philosophy, the way that he is so ruthless, so just sharpened the resolve to sacrifice everything just for one single thing, to walk that path of isolation, there is something very compelling and charming, charismatic about this, even if you don't agree with it. But at the end of the day, 
We're not going to become like him. We don't need to. We can become our own person with our own resolve. And maybe Otto Suen is that answer. That's it for me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.